Praise the Lord. I greet you, viewers all over the world. I appreciate you for following this series of prophecy towards the new Nigeria. And by the grace of God, like I used to tell you, the new Nigeria will be born. The new Nigeria will be born. The new Nigeria will be born. I know what I saw and I believe God. Weeping may last for the night, but joy come in the morning. In the morning. I told you we are at the darkest part of the night. At the darkest part of the night, that's when you see a lot of atrocities. When it's about to be done, that's when you see, oh, you hear yeah, the robber, they went, they attacked so so, -so house. Before morning, before the dawn, it happened. That's it. That's it. This is a time that we should be calm. Today, I want to discuss why there is a delay in the prophecy that Obi will become president or Obi will be president of Nigeria. Why there is a delay? Why the delay? People are getting frustrated. I want to appeal to you. Be calm. Be calm. Just be calm. God will do it. Let me tell you, our, our comment, when you are complaining, it can change the mind of God. God wanted the children of Israel to spend um, just 40 days. In the wilderness. I told you that we are in the wilderness. So <laughs> don't forget, we are in the wilderness because we reject the truth. We reject knowledge. So God said he will give over to us a reprobate mind. And he said we laugh at our calamities. And when we are saying we laugh at our calamity, I know many of you will say, I am not part of it. It is those in government. But you become part of it when you begin to complain. I see some people abuse me. They say all sorts of things. I know, I know it's very painful. But I want to encourage you, even those that are abusing me. Even me, I'm, tell, I'm talking to God. Almost every day, I will pray concerning the new Nigeria. And I will always pray that Lord hasten to do or to answer. God knows the best. He knows the heart of men. He knows the heart of men. There are so many people, they have sent me texts. There is one who sent me texts. And then those texts are very insultive and embarrassing. But we thank God. We are here as, as ministers of God. I'm here as a servant of God to tell you the mind of God. I have told you from the onset, I'm not a politician. I'm not in Labour Party. I'm not in any party. And I don't, I don't solicit for party. Whatever I hear, and I believe this one is the voice of God, I tell you so that you too can prepare and the, the people in charge can walk towards it. If you are in charge and you are not walking towards it and the, the people opposite are taking advantage, then who is... Who is who? Who is to be blamed? The man of God cannot be blamed. Prophecy is given for you to take decisions, for you to act on. Prophecy is not given for you to take and keep. One of the reasons why the, there is a delay which is on which is on now, because what I call this is delay. But delay, like I used to tell you, is not denier. The first reason that I, because I started giving this prophecy, before other people begin to copy and paste, copy and paste. One of them is Feyi. Feyi copied and pasted, and he even exaggerated some of those things. Where I will say he was profound, he will say he was arrested. Where I will say so 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 person will be a natural national threat. He will say he was arrested. He will use his own English so that it can it can coincide with my own. You see, these are things. These are these. this that's to tell you the kind of nation we we are living in. We have people who say they are bishop. 
ministers of God are now copying another person's prophecy and, and behave as if nothing happened, as if he is the originator of everything. Oh, let us be calm. We are already in the wilderness. We are already in the wilderness. But in this wilderness, you will not die because you are a righteous person. In this wilderness, you will not suffer. Anyone watching me on this platform, in the name of Jesus, in this wilderness that we are into, you will not suffer in Jesus' name. In this wilderness that we are into, you will not suffer in Jesus' name. I speak into your life. Success in the name of Jesus. Success in the name of Jesus. You will not suffer because the Lord will take care of you. He said, the Lord encamp round about them that fear him. He said, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. He said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. You will not beg bread. In this hard time, we, I prophesy this hard time. In this hard time, you will not beg bread. I told you in the prophecy of 2024 that things will be hard. But for those that are righteous, for those that are righteous, the righteous, those that fear the Lord, God is going to make you to sing a new song. Go and listen to that prophecy of 2024. I want to appeal to all of you. Don't be discouraged. Some of you are discouraged. Please, I want to appeal. I know I know how you feel. Uh, I know how you feel. Don't be discouraged. Don't say, ah, when is OB coming? Hey, we are getting tired. Hey, we are getting tired. Remember the word of God. Remember the word of God. Let me read the book of First Peter. First Peter. I mean Second Peter. Second Peter. Chapter. Chapter 3, verse 8. Let us trust in God. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 8. But beloved, be not ignorant of one thing that one day, one day. One day with the Lord eh, as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Just one day before God is as a thousand years. So when God gave you a message and that message has not manifested or when God gives you a message and because of the interference of enemy, there are enemies in this world. Paul said it. He said the effectual doors are open. He said, but there are adversaries. This door have opened, but there are adversaries. This door have opened, there are adversaries. The door, doors open for P2B to be sworn in, but there are adversaries and they say no. Is it the fault of the prophet? It's not the fault of the prophet. The prophet has prophesied. From the beginning, from day one, I told you in last 2022, go and listen to the prophecy of 2022, not 2023, not last year, last two years ago. I told you in, in August 14th, I said that there will be rigging and this rigging will be discovered. Now, I have said there will be rigging. I'm not a politician. Is it me that we want to make sure that this rigging will be, will be announced to the whole world before the court? Is it, is it my duty? My duty is to tell you, this is what, what I have seen or I have prayed. Oh, this is what the Lord spoke to me. I pray. I take time to pray. Do you think I don't pray? You think I just come and I start talking? I spend precious time, time that you will use to sleep. I'm using it to pray because I depend on God to give me inspiration, to give me words of knowledge. What I expect at that time was to begin to see, oh, this is the video, this is what they did, snap it, descending, and all. No, I, well, we thank God, the Labour Party, 
I will not say they tried. I will not say they did not try. But I was not satisfied because of the prophecy I've given that there will be rigging. I expected that even the eye neck, they will stop the eye neck immediately. But, you know, you cannot force people. You cannot force people to do. I am not a politician. I am just a mouthpiece of God. I am just a messenger. And when I give a message, you take advantage of it by walking towards it. But if you don't take advantage of it, the other opponent, because it's politics, they will take advantage of it. They will work against you. So who is to be blamed? Is it the prophet who has known that they will be rigging and this rigging will be discovered? What do you do? You stop the rigging or you expose the rigging before they even announce the rigging. We waited. They were announcing the rig, the one they rigged that will favor them. The wise. Bible says that a wise man foreseeth evil and, and run it away from it. Run it away from it. Run it away from it. If you look at if you look at the word of God in the book of Osia. Osia. Osia chapter 12, verse 13. In those days, Israel, they rely on the prophet. They come to the prophet. They ask the prophet, what is the instruction? What do we do? The prophet will now tell them, but this is not theocratic government. This is a democratic government. So you don't expect the same result the way it should be. Though sometimes it can go like that, but sometimes it may not go like that. This is not a theocratic government. This is a demo, democratic government and the people are involved if the people that are involved are corrupt is it the fault of the is it the fault of the prophet some of you you text anything I, I well I know some of you uh, you feel frustrated it's not only you that is frustrated many people are frustrated look frustration is not an issue it is the way you manage it when frustration comes, you manage it well. You will not have stress. But when frustration comes and you put it on the prophet, you blame it on your wife, you blame it on your children, you, you, it is time for us to go inward and think deep. I used to think deep. Think deep. Where did we get it wrong? Why did this thing happen like this? Then you will now pro program ahead. And look at things that will happen. Believe God. Be positive. Don't be negative, complaining. You just stand up and complain. You just stand up, you complain, you talk, you text. Anything you like, you text. There is consequence. The children of Israel, they were complaining. And because of the complaint, instead of, instead of spending um, 40 days, they spent... 40 years in the wilderness. This training for people that are believers, this training of being quiet and praying, I told you that we have entered wilderness. Everybody should be praying. Many people have given up prayer. I can feel it in my spirit that many people are giving up prayer. Even the way you, some, some I'm not saying all, though. many of you, you are wonderful. Many of you are wonderful. I don't know how to describe many of you. You just have faith. I wish, I wish the, what we are believing God will come hastily. But you see, God is not a magician. He follows instruction. He follows procedure. If he, he looks at your heart, he looks at the heart of Nigeria. Are they ready? Are they qualified? It's just like you have, you, you have promised to give a child um, SUV car. Or limousine, or, or um, Pathfinder, or any type of car, or a jeep, and you find out that that car, that child is not matured. You will delay it. You will delay it because the child is not matured enough to undo it. Look at Osea chapter twelve, verse thirteen. He said, "And by a prophet 
the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt, and by a prophet was he preserved. Look, in those days, they respect the prophet. Whenever they want to do things, they will go and meet the prophet. Prophet, what is the Lord saying? What action do we take? How do we go about it? I told you long, in 2022, in 2022, I told you how Obi will enter. In 2022, if I'm correct, because I, I have, I'm trying to recollect the date, but it's around September 2022, and the, 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 the theme was how Peter B will become president. If you go back, go and check it. Go and check my broadcast in 2022, how Obi will become president of Nigeria. If you consult me, I will tell you. I told you I don't know Peter B. He's not my brother. I don't know him. I'm not a politician. But I'm telling you the mind of God. And I tell you that one of the way is through youth movement. And I told you that I made you to understand that it's true revolution, whether directly or indirectly. But I made you to understand that Peter B chose to be like Christ that was nailed on the cross. When I say Christ, it's not Christ, so, but in that similitude, in that mood, in that similitude, in that mood, I've always repeated it. Some of you don't want to take knowledge. You just say, they said this, they said that, that, no, it's not like that. You have to look at the situation, the situation of things. When, pro, when Isaiah prophesied to Ezekiah, Ezekiah himself went to pray and change it. Human being can change prophecy if they take decisions that will go in line with the prophecy. But unfortunately, the decision did not go in line with the prophecy. And I did not say that was a bad decision. I say we choose a way of safety. We choose a way of safety. That way of safety is the road we are into. We are in a spiritual journey. Now, this, the, the, this road this road we took is longer. It's a longer road. So, don't be frustrated. Don't be saying, oh, you are not coming. No, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. Because when, when, when Peter B said, calm down, and the people were supposed to fight for their right. Nobody will come and fight for you. You fight for your right. But the, the youth that are clamoring for a new Nigeria, they shut down. But when they were clamoring for answers, they didn't shut down. You know why? Because they had their own, there are people among them that had their own common interest. Although not all. Some were fighting for, for betterment of the nation. Why some were fighting to ensure that they don't harass them in their shady cyber crime frauds. But this time, they shut down. You cannot come and ask your principal, should I go? No, you go if you want to go. Because if you say, he will, if he says, okay, go, you are going to mention him. And that will be a, as a result, as a result of that action, it will be like a rebel against the nation. So some of you don't understand things. When we are explaining the dynamics of this thing, we follow this thing since 2022. And even at times I almost cry and say, Lord, let this thing work. Because it is not theocratic. It is democratic system. If God said, it will be a win and you fold your hand, you didn't go and vote. Can he win? No. I told you people, take your uh, PVC and go and vote. Am I a politician? No. Because I want life to be better for you for me and for our, our next generations, our future generation, the children that are unborn, the one that are born, the one that are coming up, we are looking for a better Nigeria, a new Nigeria. So when this instruction is not followed, 
I went ahead to tell you in on the on May 15th, May 15th, 2023. Go back to the broadcast. May 15th, 2023. I went back to tell you. I told you that uh, I told you that purpose remain the same. Our purpose is a new Nigeria, but the plan can change. Plan can change. You are an evangelist. You are going to somewhere to evangelize. And you get there. They say, okay, you cannot use the stadium. Because last time when you used the stadium, this is what happened. This is what happened. Now you can decide, okay, I want to change this. I want to change to a school. Can you allow me to use school? They say no. Can you allow me to use a, an event center? They say yes. You choose the event center. That's a change of plan. But some of you, you don't listen. You don't want to hear. All you know is to criticize the prophet. You criticize the servant of God. You speak. What we see will tell you. What we see will tell you. I don't want a situation where you will be in a haste. Let's be calm. Let's allow God to do this thing. It's only, it's only God that can help us. Only God can help us. Only Jesus can save. Only God can help us. Let me, let me read the one that somebody sent. Someone sent to me a question. Let me read it. Last week, there was a lady, um, I, I, I think, um, Ade Shola Johnson, Adeni, something like that. She asked the question. He said, uh, this, I answer the question. I answer the question, but I can't, I can't, I don't have time to be answering all the time. So I, that's why I come on air now. Look at it. Let me see the question that this person has. Okay, let me check. Let me check. Okay, some people say you have come with uh, uh, yeah guessing. Somebody, his name is Soul Mama, Mama. No, those ones. No, there's somebody that asks question. Okay, same way you saw Pitobi being president and Tunumbu getting arrested. I never mentioned Tunumbu getting arrested. It was Feyi that mentioned it. But I say it was Rofandu and sent out. So you must try to look at things. Don't take another person' uh, uh, ideology put and be saying it. If he's going to be Rofandu, let's watch and see. I've said that he will be put. He will end in shame. Has he not end in shame? Is it not because Nigeria they see shame they cover it? Has he not end in shame? When we say the throne will be dethroned, can't you wait? Are you going to go there and begin to shoot? You will allow God to do what he can do. It's only God that has the power to do it. Only God can remove somebody from a throne. When God gives us a word of prophecy, and when God shows us that this man will die, we still pray for him. Why are we praying for him? Why are we praying for bad? We still pray for bad. We are not praying for anybody to die. We are just telling you this is the mind of God. This is what God is about to do because of the consequence of force, of desperation. Why Obi was not there is one of the reasons because of desperation. This man, Bart, is desperate. And he said it, if you get power, you grab it, you run, then the opponent should know that this type of person is serious. Look, let me tell you, even if God prophesied to you, oh, you are going to pass, yes. You know why? Because he has given you brain to pass. And then he knows what he put inside of you. And he knows if you read, you will pass. But if you now take it and you say, oh, prophet has said it. Oh, prophet has said it. Then you go and sleep. <laughs> you will go and sleep. Your two eyes are closed. You sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and believe you will pass. You will fail. Now, if a dollar, a dollar, 
who feel he will fail, decide to read and read and pray. God will help him. It will pass. Let me tell you a story of two people. One of the person they told the person, the person, the person was um, nobody. And prophecy came to him that he was going to be poor. But he became hardworking. He went into the bush and began to clear the bush. They said, I will be poor, but I cannot be poor. They said, I will be poor, I cannot be poor. And he began to clear and clear and clear and clear. He got to a point. He had enough food. The one they said, the other one, they prophesied for him that he would be rich. He went and sit down. He's not doing anything. At a point, they came and started begging the one that they said he would be poor. Let me tell you, prophecy is there for you to take advantage of it. For you to work on it. Are there not people in Labour Party, in the government that we are into now? People that came with the advantage of OB, the movement. Because I said it saying it from 2022, that this obedient movement is going to, is going to spread. Go to, and the thing spread. And the thing spread. Now, the thing has spread. Now you, you took advantage of it. You now get into power. But you don't speak anything. You are just there enjoying and they are making with the people. No. What did the Bible say in the book of Matthew? Matthew chapter 5. Those that want to do righteousness. If you are really righteous and you enter into a government. If you are righteous as you claim to be that you are a party. You are under a party. Or you came under a platform where the youth... And the people, they want a change. And you came in because you used the name of Pito B to come into power. And then you came in. Eh? And then they are not saying anything. You are not saying anything. You must be opposed in such a system. You must. I know what I'm talking. I'm talking from experience. I've, 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 seen, I've seen experience in life. And I've worked before. Look at it. Matthew... Look, it is high time we should come to realize that prophecy is not for fun. Prophecy is for you to wait, walk towards it. Don't collect prophecy, then you sit down. Hey, then you are not you are not walking towards it. Prophecy has, I've told you that prophecy has instruction attached to it. Instruction that are attached to it. That's why I told you the, the next prophecy that is coming. I have told you if we can pray, if we can be faithful, if we can join our faith, work together. All those things I'm talking, is it for fun? It's because we know that if we continue to exercise faith, by the time you exercise faith, why is it that darkness is prevalent? Is it everything I will tell you here? I told you that I saw, I saw the map of Nigeria being hijacked by darkness. And the people that put on white, they try to take it. As they try to take it, they took it, but that darkness overpowered them and caught one of them. I told you like that, and they and he, and he ran with the flag, and they were flagging it. They were flagging it. We say, whoa, we are believers. We are not cooperating. We are not cooperating. The same, the same believer will bless what ought not to be blessed. So who are you? Who are you deceiving? Look, something that has to do with a nation is not one person. If I prophesy to you, I know where to, I know what to tell you. I know that if you follow the instruction, God will bless you. And I will tell you. But if you don't follow and then you have problem, then you know it's your fault. But we are talking of a nation. A nation that is full of corruption. One of our biggest problems is corruption. What you think is impossible because of corruption, you see it happening. And you say, ah, the prophecy. Because they have gone to exchange hands. Hands have exchanged hands with the mundane things of this world. With the mundane things that will pass away. That's why the prophecy I gave on Monday, if you look at it, I talk about the coming of the Lord Jesus, which is supreme to all prophecies. The war and the rumors of war. War that is ahead, which I say we should pray against. And the rumors of war. And I made you to know that Jesus is coming. Let me tell you, those in the Labour Party, I wanted to read Matthew. Let me go to Matthew. Matthew chapter 5. 
if you are for righteousness, uh, you will suffer persecution. Where is the persecution? We are not seeing any persecution. Since they entered here, the legislature, I'm talking about the legislators and the House of Rep. We know that the governor, uh, OT is trying, Alex OT is trying. We have heard things that he's doing. He's trying. Though I cannot give him 100% uh, to a uh hand. -huh. But we are not hearing from the legislators. You know, when, when they talk about they are giving them uh, bulletproof uh, cars, they uh, were, were up to now within yet. So sometimes when God is delaying things, it's not, delay, it's not because uh, he wants to delay it. It's because of the people. And the same people, the poor people that we are seeing today, uh, if they have opportunity, they will do worse. And that's why the system is a circle of corruption, circle of wickedness, circle of darkness, roving around the, the, the nation. So that's why I told you initially, this nation is not Israel. Israel, they can't do what these people are doing. Israel, they, they, they respect their prophet and they take instruction from them. Look at Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5, verse 11. Okay, let me, verse 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Those that are persecuted for righteousness' sake. There is there any persecution? Those that enter through the platform of uh, P2B, P2B. Is there any persecution since they enter there? You see, this is what we are talking about. When we are talking about the heart, God knows the heart. And he looks the intent of the heart. God loves Nigeria. But if Nigeria rejects redemption, you can't force God. I told you, I told you how what happened in, in, uh, in September 26. In that September 26, the word Nigeria was murdered. In September 26, at the tribunal, at the tribunal, the word Nigeria was murdered. If they have judged right, will there be no jubilation in the air from our own reasoning? Let us be sincere. And I told you in October 6, 2020, 2023, in October 6, 2023, Nigeria was buried. What you saw there is barrier unknown to you. Even that May 29, I told you that we have entered into the Red Sea. I told you that we have entered into the Red Sea, but we, we, we that believe in the new Nigeria, we will be protected. We that believe in righteousness, we be protected. We will walk through dry land into the wilderness. Try to explain the spiritual connotations of these things and wake up to reality. Wake up to reality that at this time, what we need is speak the word. Speak the word. Speak the word. Don't, don't, don't give devil a chance because darkness has taken over. But we will take over by decree, by our mouth, by speaking the word, by our faith. Where's your faith? Where's your faith? The people in the world, they know how to join in darkness. They join together. They are cooperative. They are united. The people that say they believe. How many of them are united? I told you on the October 6th, Nigeria has been buried. So now, I said, because I believe in resurrection. I personally believe in resurrection. I don't know about you. And I know you too believe in resurrection. If you can believe as I believe. I said, a new Nigeria will resurrect. But then, are you going to begin to rush to abuse the prophet? When you begin to do all things and the prophet give up and everybody give up, then the enemy will have upper hand. The enemy will have upper hand. When I told you that things will be very hard, very hard, it happened. What is this saying? Are we not suffering now? I traveled. I entered a fast food. In those days, when you enter fast food, you eat the way you like. And then I said, ah, I want to buy food. Uh, they said a plate is 2,500. 
2000, I said, okay, no problem. I gave them my ATM, 2,500. When they put the food, I was shocked. One mold of apple. I know some people can eat that mold of apple. They can eat it three times. Why some? Four times. Just one mold of apple. Just one. And then meat, only one. And soup. 2,500. That's to tell you that the hardship has gotten very high. Very high. That if we don't do something, if we don't, there's no pro, because I said it, that it will reach a point, the, even the government will be confused. But we are praying. So continue to pray. But I told you what we kind of prayer we need is God or put the wrong people in position. Because if the wrong people are there, they will continue to gallivant with our economy. Continue to play with it. Continue to do anyhow. Huh? So it's high time we begin to we begin to look at things and we begin to correct ourselves and stop stop this attitude of a eh, prophet and eh, you say obi will enter so obi will enter is obi not supposed to have entered if you follow the the if you follow the the the, the event of things nigeria saw opportunity they decide not to use it they decide to go in the way of darkness so if somebody reject knowledge and he decide to go in the way of darkness what will god do he will give him over to a reprobate mind Reprobate mind is a mind. Do anything you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. When you do whatever you want to do, then what will happen? God will not disturb you. He will allow you to do what you want to do. I pray that God will help us in Jesus' name. There are so many questions, but I don't know. I just feel, let me just explain these things to you so that you will understand. What I want us to do is to be friends. Let us be friends. We are not at war. We are not at war. I know some of you, you are expecting, ah, by now. It's true. It's true. Even me, I'm expecting transformation. But you see, the truth is that, I will, I will show you a verse now in the scripture. I'll show you a verse. God will help us. The verse is in Proverbs chapter 29. Proverbs 29, verse 16. He said, When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increases, but the righteous shall see their fall. Because wickedness increases, wickedness multiplies, then transgression. Transgression is this corruption you see. Transgression is this darkness joining hand together the tower of babel the system of the tower of babel they are still working despite the fact that we are praying against them and that they are falling they, are, they, will, they will go and build it again because they are cooperative let us come together as one and begin to reason he said god told the people he said come let us reason together don't look at Ah, the prophet, eh, you want to criticize, you want to, you, no. We are choosing the way of safety. This way of safety is a longer route and it's a spiritual journey. And I told you in this spirit, in this wilderness, in, the, in the, the way of safety and the wilderness which we choose, we have to be calm. We have to be prayerful. We have to prophesy the word. We have to speak it. We have to develop faith. We have to ginger one another. We have to join one another in faith. As we begin to do it, you will suddenly see transformation. When we decide to shut down, we didn't follow the instruction in the prophecy. Because of our mindset, we don't want we want safety. Now it's what you choose in life. Life is choice. Now God has a plan. The plan is Cyrus will come. We don't know the Cyrus. You don't know the Cyrus. I don't know the Cyrus. But I told you everything about the Cyrus. I don't think there's any other thing I keep away from you people. I've told you many things about the Cyrus. 
All I want you to do, pray and say, God. I told you that this, I told you Cyrus will pave a way for Peter P to come. It will be like a foreigner that will pave a way. You have not seen him. Pray. Pray. God bless you. Please. I don't want you to be castigating me. I want us to pray together and see that this nation give birth to the new Nigeria. God will bless you. God bless you. Please, watch and pray. Watch and pray. Don't give up. God will lift you up. As many that are patient in this platform, God will lift you up. God will bless you. I pray for all of you on this platform, watching this platform, and believing God and praying along with me, praying along with us. Oh, in the name of Jesus, as God has said this year, that destiny will shine. Your destiny will shine in Jesus' name. God will make a way for you. Your way will open. I prophesy. There's one man watching this platform. Your way will open. You are an elderly man. You are not too tall. You are a little bit uh, not too tall. You are, you are not uh, short, too short. You are, uh, a, uh, you are moderate size. Will I say you are not slim, but you are, you are not too tall. You are dark in complexion. In the name of you have gotten some white hair. In the name of Jesus, I command the way to open for you. I command prosperity for you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Watch and pray. Pray for Nigeria. See Nigeria being transformed. What you see is what you get. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.